Now here's a scene, our side of Steven that you don't see. He's also a seamstress. Who happens to have a flashlight in his mouth. <laughs> but uh, Steven has a sewing kit. My hubby has a sewing kit. And uh, he noticed in church this morning that I had a tear in my shirt. And I didn't even notice that myself. I wore it and put it on and I didn't even notice it myself. Isn't that something? Um, how do you put a shirt on and not notice that it has a rip? I don't, I don't know. But, so we were sitting there in church and he had his arm around me. And he said, oh, you got a rip in your shirt. And I said, I do? Well, see, this is one I don't wear very often. I don't, I don't wear this shirt very often. And, uh, <laughs> but I am just, I, I'm telling you, I, 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 I'm actually very spoiled. Um, I have a husband that is a seamstress, and I have a husband that is a great cook, and I am very spoiled. Uh, if he didn't do this, I would probably pay a Mennonite lady to sew it up. Look how he's so carefully trimming the dead ends off, like like, like the dead end of your hair. Like a, uh, It looks like he's just trimming off the dead ends of hair. That's what it, it looks like he's doing. But, um... That's what I've always done in the past when Steven's been on the road. Um, I've always taken something to my Mennonite neighbors and asked them to sew it up. It's still cheaper than taking it to a, um, a seamstress at a um, dry cleaning store. So anyway, I, I, I am just super blessed. My husband blesses me in more ways than I can tell you. And Now, he took home Mac uh, in school. I did, too. I mean, I had to make a pillow, and I had to cook, and I mean, I had to sew things, but very, very basic things, very basic things, and um, I just, I never, I would not make a, I would not make a good Mennonite wife and mom, um, I just would not, because that's what their life is, is cooking and sewing, and that's not something that I, uh, I I'm just not skilled in the kitchen, and I'm not skilled um, and sewing. I have other skills that are beneficial. I have great secretarial skills. Um, I have many skills, but uh, sewing and cooking, which are stereotyped to be for women, are not mine. So let me tell you, Stephen made breakfast this morning, and he made lunch, and he's actually got something um, for dinner. Uh, I've been able to lose weight in the time that Stephen's been home. Stephen has been home since November the 2nd, and this is December the 11th. So he's been home for five or six weeks. And in the five or six weeks that Stephen has been home off the road, I have been able to lose weight because he keeps me on a schedule of thing, eating healthy and he is my conscience, and he won't let me eat bad things. And when he came home this time, we had a very serious talk, um, very intense, very serious talk about my eating habits and what I was eating and the weight that I had gained, just a very serious conversation. Um, I'm probably still considered pre-diabetic, I, uh, I was, I mean, I don't think that I have lost that status. Um, I, I, I have been pre-diabetic for quite some time because of my um, weight issue. And so it wasn't just a matter of physical appearance. Um, it, it wasn't just a matter of physical appearance. It was just a matter of my health and taking care of my health and uh, getting my kidneys to be healthy. And... Um, so, my husband has been my number one cheerleader in that regard. He has really helped me. And uh, he, he can be the food police, which can be really um, annoying sometimes. 
Like, I came home last week and I had purchased some sugar-free whipped cream. <laughs> and I said to him, I said, well, it's sugar-free. It's sugar-free whipped cream. And he said, well, if you read it, it's not really sugar-free. You got to read all the additives and um, all the things they put in there. And so, we gave the, the two containers of sugar-free whipped cream to my next-door neighbor just to keep them out of the house. She was delighted and happy to have them. So, we took those over next door to our elderly neighbor. And, um, but it has been since November the 3rd since I have had any white processed sugar and I've been doing very well about not eating bread, so not eating carbs and sugar. And I have been losing, on average, one and a half, two pounds a week since Stephen has been home. So I'm really excited about that. Like I said, he's held me accountable. And he's been my number one cheerleader and my food police, which I need desperately. And so now, look what he's doing. He is sewing, literally, the shirt off my back. I was wearing that shirt, and he said, Well, take this shirt off and let me, let me sew that up for you. And <laughs> so he pulls out his uh, sewing kit, matches the thread color up, and is sewing my shirt. I am very spoiled. Yeah, I gotta check this. Oh, oh we're gonna go check the dinner? You're, um, I am very, very spoiled. Look in there. See, look. Boy, so, look. So, he's multitasking. So, you see he's sewing my shirt and multitasking and cooking some sausage patties. And even though, it, like, okay, it's uh, almost 5 o'clock in the evening, it feels like 9 or 10 o'clock at night because of how dark it is. We're, we're working our way to that summer, not summer, winter solstice. Why did I say summer? We're working our way to the winter solstice, which is the 21st, which is the shortest day of the year, and it's so I'll dark. So he's multitasking. He's cooking sausage patties in the kitchen. Hey, kitty. Both the cats are in. That's nice. Y'all are, y'all are both in for the night, you and your brother. No, nope, you're not going outside. So he's multitasking. So he's cooking and sewing at the same time. Now, I I just I can't I mean, I can just rattle on and on about how I am so filled with gratitude. I'm just, uh, my, my husband has so many skills and so many talents, and I literally would be lost without him. Do you know that, Stephen? You know that I would be lost without you. <laughs> we'll take it out and trade later on. <laughs> We're bartering. <laughs> yeah, we barter. But but isn't that what a marriage is? Um, it's give and take, and and you do for you each do other. Our food. <laughs> oh, y'all didn't hear that. Y'all did not hear that. You give and I'll take. Um, but anyway, it's just what a marriage is. Uh, so I just am extremely grateful to have a husband that is very culinary, and he is the king of the kitchen. And then for him to just take my shirt and sew it up like that. And, I'm, and again, I don't know how it got ripped because it's been a long time since I've worn that shirt. So, but he's got multiple uh, thread boxes. It's been washed. That's why it's all ravelly like that. And just I have to sew it a few times for it to go away. But, I mean, you're supposed to wash your clothes, so... Um, yeah, you don't wash it when it's rough from heart, though. Oh. Oh, you're saying that once it's ripped, you're not supposed to wash it. Yeah, if you it. wash it while it's ripped, it's just going to unravel. That's what caused that. Well, 
Well, I know that um, I have my faults, and Stephen has his faults. Um, because... I have no faults. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that, because we're not perfect people. I'm not perfect, but I don't have any faults. You're not perfect, but you don't have any no, faults? I'm just the way God made me. Well, then that's what I claim, too. That's what I... That's what I claim too. Yeah, it's wreck it, Ruthie. <laughs> so Stephen has this not so nice nickname for me. You said I seen her in the kitchen this morning. She knocked over a bottle of water. Oranges went flying. I mean, just everything in the kitchen went flying all at once. All of a sudden. <laughs> well. That's a uh, normal around here. Uh, I am. And then AJ come in the room and he'll do the same thing. Like, like Mama likes and Well, I can be clumsy. I'm not 100% clumsy. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm not 100%. Not 100%. I'm not 100% clumsy. I can be That's clumsy. That's right. Sometimes she goes to sleep. <laughs> Steven. But uh, I wear... In the skills that I seriously lack in, Steven is so strong. Stephen is so strong in the skills that I lack in. And I am very grateful. That's really far off. I need to cut that off and do that again. It's too short. Well, thank you for sewing my shirt, Stephen. I appreciate you are Mr. Homemaker. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are not seeing this. But anyway, I didn't learn this in home ec. When I was a kid, you sewed up your clothes. Mom didn't, well, my mom did. My real mom used to sew up my clothes, but I was sent to go live with my dad when I was six or something like that. And uh, my, my new mom, which yeah. is married to my dad, she was just, I think she was just like 18 years old or something like that, so... I had a sister older than her, and she didn't have any of them skills, nor did she care to use them, if she did. So I had to learn, I had to sew my own stuff. Of course, I knew how to sew my own stuff by watching mom. But I thought you said that you did, you did learn some in your home ec class. Not sewing. So, so all of that's from watching your mom, then? I learned how to bake in home ec. You learned how to bake in home ec, okay. Yeah. That's all I learned in there. Was how to bake from scratch. And I would go home and I made it short again. Anyway, all I learned in home ec was baking. Okay. <laughs> Well, Stephen, I'm going to wrap this up. I am very, very... Oh, look, look at that. There's our marriage certificate. That's how important it is. It's right there next to the computer. Look, certificate of marriage. Look at that. Right there. It's framed. Framed. Just in case you ever needed to remember that you were married. Yeah. <laughs> how cool is that? Well, thank you, Stephen. Look at the Taylor, the, the the Mr. Taylor at work. You don't want to look at this mess. It's, it's all messy. Well, thank you, Stephen. I, I just want to say I want to declare to the world, thank you. I'm very proud of everything that you do for me and all that you do for AJ and myself and all the, the skills that I lack in, you're strong in. You complete me. Okay. I've been buttered up from head to toe. <laughs> So, y'all have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Whatever you sow. God bless. And <laughs> later. I buttered up.